Thank you. Wells Fargo supporting small businesses in South Florida today. The bank making a multi-million dollar donation focusing on racially and ethnically diverse owners who've been disproportionately affected by the pandemic. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn has the story. Welcome home, says the piece of paper now hanging on the walls of what is planned to be the future of Sweet Jelaine's and company in Homestead. I was born and raised here in Miami, had a great government job. Uh, the government downsized and I had to recreate so I can feed my girls. Sharana Day's company was born out of necessity. Right, so I went back to the job that I used to have, to my friends that used to be my friends. We were both in the same game the day before. So I went back, I was like, hey, this is what I'm doing now. Can you try it? Tell me if you like it and then buy it. For almost 10 years, business was growing. Then the pandemic slowed down orders. So Day collected extra food from farms and created a new project called Defense Tea. And turned it into palatable, immune-based, healthy, good um, natural teas. Now she's in need of her own space for all her goods. But coming up with money up front, just like that, is still a struggle. A lot of small businesses that didn't have relationships with banks. Wells Fargo CEO Charlie Scharf announced the banking firm has donated $20 million to help small businesses through the Miami Foundation. Especially those in diverse communities that weren't able to get funding through PPP. Well, my hope is that a donation like this will find its way down to people like me. I'm somebody's mother, somebody's sister, somebody's friend, and I need money to make these moves. Portions of a prior Open for Business fund grant have helped to secure cultural ties. New Century Dance Company needed legal help to write new contracts during the pandemic. We were creating our own contracts that served for 22 years. But legal fees run from hundreds to thousands of dollars. Not easy for Alexandra Sliva, who runs the dance company. We or the event or the, the fundraiser decided not to do it because they were afraid that it was an outbreak. This Open for Business grant is designed to help with economic recovery and to make it more inclusive so that businesses like this can open its doors and stay open for a long time. In Homestead, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News.